Olivia. Hi. Hey. How are you? I'm doing okay. Do you want to come in? Yes. Okay. I'm just going to ask you 73 questions in a short amount of time. I know. How long have you been in L.A.? Ten years. What's the most underrated thing in L.A.? The nature. What is a perfect weekend trip out of L.A.? Jumping on a plane to Cabo. What are three words to describe living in L.A.? Beautiful, exciting, dream fulfilling. If you hyphenate, make it one word. Oh, uh, that's a cool monkey you got there. Uh, what's your favorite spirit animal? Bear. Do you want to come all the way in? Yes. Do you mind taking your shoes off? Sorry, I'm Asian, so. I'm not much of a shoe guy anyway, so. Oh. Well, I like your socks. What genre of music should we have behind this interview? 90s hip hop. Who's your favorite living musician? Brad Paisley. Who's your favorite non-living musician? Tupac. If your life was a song, what would the title be? <laughs> Somehow she's still going. What's the last hobby you picked up? Golf. What's the geekiest thing about you? My personality. What topic would you own in trivia? Technics. If you instructed a college class, what would the subject be? Contemporary studies and beatboxing. If you taught a kindergarten class, what would the subject be? It's not a subject, but it's important to teach kids to be nice to each other and that no one should ever sit alone at recess or lunch. What's something you can't be subjected to for too long? Someone belittling someone else. What is one thing you would love to be asked if you were interviewed by Zach Galifianakis? Zach Galifianakis. Oh, because mm -hmm. <laughs> because I'm between two ferns. Mm -hmm. I actually don't think those are ferns. Sorry. What's the best exercise? My trainer, Alicia, has me do this thing on the T-Rex, and it's always fun. Can you show me your favorite yoga move? No, because I hate yoga. What's your favorite movie in the past five years? Her. What's your favorite movie of all time? A Woman Under the Influence. It's really nice outside. It is. Do you want to go outside? Yep. Okay. Let's do it. Watch out for this coffee table, because it has a sharp edge, and oh. I have lots of bruises on my legs to prove that I have not learned my lesson. What's a movie you laughed the hardest during? Bridesmaids. What's a movie you cried the hardest during? Mm. John Doe, starring Gary Cooper and Barbara Stanwyck. What's the best animated movie ever created? Finding Nemo. What's the coolest thing in this house? Coolest thing in this house? Well, I have a few of these things, and one of them is in this room. What's the coolest thing you've ever seen? My sister graduate magna cum laude from law school. What's the coolest thing about Japan? The people. Neongo anaseru toyo no wa hontao desu ka? Hai, mochiron. Watashi wa Tokyo de sodachimashita. Doko de nihongo wo manabimashita ka? I know, I know, right? Interesting. Okay. <laughs> What's the best first date idea? Mm, probably doing some kind of fun sport or activity. What's the worst first date idea? Bunny ranch in Vegas. What is love? What is love? <laughs> That's a huge loaded question that I do not know the answer to, so if you find out, please DM me and let me know. What's the weirdest thing a guy has said or done to try to impress you? It's always weird when a guy insults you to get your attention. What's the funniest pickup line a guy could use on a girl? I don't think that pickup lines ever work, so my advice to you is to never use them. In a world where this actually happens and you use pickup lines, what's the best <laughs> pickup line you would use on a guy? I would go up to a guy in front of all of his friends and say, I'm late. And it's yours. Olivia, a man on this iPad over there would like to ask you a question. Hey, Olivia, what flowers should I get my girlfriend? You got these nice roses right here. Beautiful. All right, other option. Or something a little more He picks his nose on the way over. Or an orchid. Uh, roses. That's easy. You want to go outside, right? Yeah. OK. Who's the last person you texted? Probably my mom, as lame as that sounds. Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram? Twitter. Best comic book ever created? Best comic book ever created, Why the Last Man, hands down. Best superhero ever created? I'm gonna go with Rogue from X-Men. Best video game ever created? Halo. Best video game console ever created? Xbox. What monster would you destroy with a giant sword while wearing Oculus Rift? A six-headed Hydra. What color dress did you wear to your prom? Red. Blow dry or air dry? Uh, I would love to be the person who was getting blow dries every day, but unfortunately it becomes an air dry. Do you dress up every morning? I also would love to be the person who gets dressed up every morning, does full hair and makeup, and has my clothes laid out for me. But uh, I'm just not that person. I don't have the energy. And this was actually wrinkled before we started this whole little conversation. Who is your fashion icon? Uh, I don't really have an icon, but I'm inspired by people every day, a lot of celebrities and actresses who come out looking so amazing. What are three things that are always in your purse? Clark's Botanicals lip gloss my portable Wi-Fi, and Proactive Plus wipes. What's your favorite food? Thai. What's your least favorite food? Foie gras. Favorite dessert? 
pie. Favorite thing to order at a bar? Hmm, probably a Saint Germain because it makes me feel fancy. Who's a person you'd love to have a Saint Germain with? My best friend. Who's an historical figure you'd love to have a Saint Germain with? Thaddeus Stevens. If you had a Saint Germain with President Obama, what would you ask him? I'd ask him if he had any regrets. If you could play an historical figure in a movie, who would it be? Probably Oprah, just because she texted me earlier and was like, hey, oh, it's O. Oh. Will you play me if they ever do a movie about me? And I was like, oh, it's O. Oh. I'm going to check my schedule, but I'm pretty busy. What's been the best thing about 2014? Probably that federal judges said that it is unconstitutional for gays not to be allowed to be married. Do you have a goal for 2015? I do make goals, but I don't like to say them out loud. What is a current trend you hope doesn't exist in 100 years? Selfies. Well, it's nice out, but uh, I think uh, this is all the fresh air I need. Oh, you don't, you, you want to go back inside? Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, I, I just want to say that you're kind of demanding as a house guest. You know, you want to go in, out, up, down. Olivia, my apologies. I have something called choice anxiety, and the only cure for it is a question. Kittens or puppies? Puppies. What was your first pet? A <laughs> Cocker Spaniel. What was your first pet's name? Ginger Snap Lady. What's the ugliest breed of dog? Those Chinese ones with the weird hair. Favorite country to visit? Italy. Last country you visited? Can't remember if it was Canada or Sweden. Country you wish to visit? Ireland. Underwater or outer space? Outer space. Where would you spend retirement? With my friends and my family. Best gift you've ever received? A picture of a monkey. Best gift you've ever given? I helped my sister get through law school. What's your favorite board game? Taboo. It's the game of unspeakable fun. Biggest learning experience of your life? When my grandmother died. Proudest moment of your life? Whenever I see how smart my niece is. What are you most excited about in life right now? <laughs> Everything. Olivia, I have one last question for you. Yes. Uh, can you give me some life advice in Japanese? Sure. Mizuo no manaitas. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Konnichiwa. Cha mata. OK. See you around town. Good to see you. Hey, how do you keep those socks clean on the streets? Uh, I read a few books here and there. Olivia, would you subscribe to the Vogue channel? Yeah.